Hello, welcome everyone. I'm Laura Lealtache from the Technical University of Munich and today we'll present the work on learning by tracking which is uh, done in collaboration with uh, Christian Canton Ferrer and Conrad Schindler. So the problem we are tackling is the one of tracking uh, multiple object tracking and we use the framework of tracking by detection which means that first we want to have a set of detections in each of the frames of the video sequence but of course these detections are not perfect so we have some misdetections, some false alarms so at the data association step which is when we actually want to link the detections into full trajectories we can have problems such as identity switches or wrong matches and we can also of course have gaps in the trajectory so in this paper we focus on the data association part and classically in the literature uh, people have tackled uh, or people have tried to improve data association in two, um, in, in two ways. One is uh, by including temporal consistency and this is done basically uh, with a tracking framework. So tracking frameworks have evolved from Kalman filter into more global frameworks like ne network flows or conditional random fields. On the other hand, uh, literature has also dedicated a lot of time into actually improving the similarity between detections through better appearance models or motion models or other features in order to improve the matching between detections. Uh, and actually the similarity is what will eventually decide which detections go together into trajectories. So in this paper we advocate that with a simple tracking framework such as network flows, which is actually fast to optimize and gives us the global optimum for all tracks, if we fit it with a proper similarity value between detections, then we can get a really boost in, improve, a really boost in, the, um, in the tracking accuracy. So what we do is actually we measure similarity with a convolutional neural network, which, which essentially performs patch comparison. So essentially what we want is that once we have uh, two detections in two different frames which belong to the same person, um, the network tells us yes, this is the same person and tells us no when it's actually a different person. So in order to do this we uh, use a Siamese network and so we have some detections in frame t, some detections at frame t, per one, t plus 1, we feed them into the network which tells us which belong to, together and which not and this also has the great advantage that actually um, can tell us which are false detections because none of them will be matched to any trajectory. And once we have that, we feed um, this cause into our linear programming or network flow tracking to obtain the final trajectories. So we've also played around with possible uh, topologies from pure semis network into just a classification network. If you want to know more details, come to our poster. And so the final design that we have is that of um, that we stack basically the image and also the optical flow, we pass it through the network, but at the same time we also want to add contextual features such as, as height and width of the bounding box, distance between bounding boxes, and we do this at a later stage with a linear classifier. So if you want to know more about our exciting results, we'll be waiting for you at our poster. Thank you.